This is the Note 7 S Pen, the brand new stylus from Samsung that fits inside of the Note 7 smartphone. Its little plastic tips are supposed to mimic a real life pen as you write electronically on the screen of the phone. The whole thing is water resistant just like the phone itself. So let's do what we always do and see what makes this thing tick. There are a few improvements over the Note 5 S Pen. The two differences is that the tips are finer on the Note 7, or more pointier, and the Note 7 S Pen can detect twice as many pressure levels, so your artwork or penmanship will look and feel more realistic. Included in the box are replacement tips, just in case something happens to the originals. There are two types of material used for this tip, the white plastic, which is slightly more brittle than the included gray rubber type tips. Replacing the tips is easy enough. Pop out the little metal tweezers that are included with your box and give the tip a little pull then the replacement tip can be slid into place. I imagine that the rubber tips will leave slightly less of a groove in plastic screen protectors since they are a bit softer, but time will tell. So how does the S Pen work? Let's find out what's inside. The whole thing is water resistant and permanently sealed, so there are not any easy access points, but the usual breaking things in half approach seems to work just fine. Now that we have identified the weakest point on the S Pen, which is right below that plasticky chrome clicky part, we can see how it works. A few people have complained that their S Pen has stopped clicking, which means that it gets stuck inside of the phone. This doesn't seem to be widespread though. With millions of phones being shipped, a few are bound to be defective. The spring mechanism inside is pretty much identical to any other style of clicky pen that you can buy at the store. A few springs and the rotating plastic piece. Remember, since this pen is not made to be taken apart, if anything breaks on it or if it stops working, the only option is to replace it. Fixing is not an option. I will link replacement pins and replacement tips down below in the video description if you need them. The shaft of the pin is also sealed by plastic. There is no easy access points here either, so we're going to have to crush it away if we want to see what's inside. After crushing it open with my pliers, we expose the main board. And before we look at that though, let's look at the tip. Now to me, this is the most interesting part of the pin, these coils of wire. As we've seen from the teardown video thus far, there are no power sources inside of the S Pen. So how does it receive its power and communicate with the phone? These coils here are the main event. If you remember from my invisible wireless charging desk video, wireless charging does not need direct contact in order to work. These copper coils in the phone will still charge through thin objects. So when we look at the S Pen, we can see that even before the pen touches the surface of the phone, it is already receiving inductive power through the coils in the tip, and the digitizer inside of the phone has already detected the electromagnetic field in the tip and is ready for the pen's contact. The main board in the S Pen is covered in a thick rubber coating. This is probably another layer of waterproofing. Under that layer is a ton of resistors that I imagine help out with the 4,000 different levels of pressure detection which is quite an improvement over the 2000 levels of pressure detection in the Note 5 S Pen. I do not believe this S Pen is a prime candidate for a reassembly video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a future teardown. All of my behind the scenes stuff are usually posted to Instagram and Twitter. Thanks a ton for watching. Hope to see you around.